Maharashtra's second city after Mumbai, Pune, has emerged as a cosmopolitan center of learning and academic excellence. It's now an emerging IT hub with a culture that's alive and youthful. The man who was the first to transform Pune's personality was Acharya Rajneesh, the pop icon rechristened Osho by his followers after his death in 1990. The legacy of this man, whom his critics called a sex guru, survived in a manicured neo-hippie commune that the Wall Street Journal called a spiritual Disneyland for disaffected first world yuppies. Avowedly non religious Osho Commune International at Pune's Korrigaon Park, there's not even a hint of the controversies that rocked the city over the white robed, white bearded guru's espousal of liberation through sex. Osho is omnipresent, but the ghosts of his eventful life are nowhere in evidence across the 20 acres of landscaped gardens, cafes, organic farm, and shops that are managed by the godman's maroon robed followers. They come for a one-month program of self-rejuvenation, each of them doing an assigned task in this melting pot of cultures. Osho's philosophy was a heady amalgam of teaching of Buddhism and Sufism, and his own brand of unabashed materialism and sexual liberation. His followers spend the day practicing Osho's unconventional meditation routine with the purpose of liberating their energy chakras to relax their bodies and calm their mind. The routine begins with vigorous loosening up movements to uncoil the kundalini and to release the energy chakras. As the chakras move up, from the base of the spine to spread their karmic influence, it's time for some dance therapy to alleviate stress. The next big step is to achieve a state of life-giving stillness through the ancient yogic practice of pranayama or breath control. At the end comes the most important part of the Osho routine, the no-mind meditation designed to rid your body and mind of any leftover stress. Osho's followers, the journey of self-discovery never stops. When they're not meditating or performing those daily chores that keep the commune running like clockwork, they unwind with the form of self-expression that suits them best. Whenever God will approach you, you will see that you are going mad. You will vibrate into a new rhythm. Your whole body will be full of shivering, shaking you will feel a new energy pouring into you. And the energy is so tremendous that your capacity is not that much. By and by your capacity will grow. By and by you will be able to absorb it. By and by the shaking and trembling will disappear. By and by you will become perfectly silent.